In this video, I will be making simple darkness sensor circuit using 1N4007 diode. For those who are not familiar with BC547 transistor, here is the pinout for connecting. Actually, we will need two transistors for signal amplification purposes. As always, pre-solder all the components for beta solder joint. Now connect the first transistor's base pin with the second transistor's emitter pin for signal amplification. Now I will make a voltage divider with 1M resistor and the diode. Here I am using 3.7 volt lithium ion battery for powering this circuit. Ok guys so let's connect the battery and see whether it is working or not. Obviously guys it will not work because the general diode is not photoreactive so we have to make some physical changes to the diode for being photoreactive. So guys let's unplug the battery first and then break this diode. So let's see what happens after plugging the battery. My torch battery exhausted so I am using my phone flash for testing. So guys here you can see this circuit works just flawlessly. The theory behind the circuit is very simple. Let me explain. So here you can see this is a simple schematics of the circuit. So at the first thing you will notice that this diode is in reverse biased. Okay. So reverse bias means this will not allow any current to flow from this to this side. Okay. So here you can see the direct path is from this 3.7 volt to this 1 meg resistor to this transistor's base because this is not connected yet this is like open circuit this will not allow any current to flow directly to the ground if you have not changed anything from the diode 
right so it will activate this transistor and this transistor will activate this transistor so this transistor will light up this led and this will work okay so but when we modify this diode we all know that the diode has the uh, different doping parts and p type and n type semiconductor inside in it okay so when we expose these conducting materials direct sunlight or any other light then these become contactive and this will allow current to flow from here to here right so we all know the current flows from the shortest path right so current goes from this 3.7 volt to this one meg resistor to directly to the ground through this diode right so no current will flow from this transistor so it will not activate this transistor so this led will not run in this case when this diode gets light so guys that's pretty much wraps up this video i hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching and this is creative Reader signing out and i hope to see you guys in my next video peace wish i could say i was finally over you